Hey everyone, welcome back to another Metalogic Design video. My name is Nick and today, as you can see here, we're going to be going through reputation management in GoEye level. So if you have not seen my previous video on the topic already, um, click somewhere on the screen here to watch that video and then come back and watch this one. Essentially what this is going to be um, is just a way to, an easier way to send and to track who is submitting reviews and not or not and how to respond to those reviews as they come in. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So compared to the review methods in the previous video, I think that this method is just 10 times better if you're willing to put in just a little bit more of work. Um, it's more automated, it's more effective. And I think it's just gonna be easier for both parties um, all around. So let's first go ahead and get started by creating our trigger link. So if you don't know what a trigger link is already, essentially it's just a link that you click on that go high level track. So it can track who's clicking on it, who's not, um, the percentage of people clicking on it, and all these other metrics. So it's gonna be really important here in the automation when we get to that later in the video. So let's go ahead and create our trigger link by clicking reputation here on the left hand side clicking this gear method or this gear up top and then under leave a review link um, you might not already have a link generated here if not click generate link and then we're going to copy this here let's go ahead and go back into our marketing tab Let me move this over here real quick marketing we're going to go to trigger links links add a link let's go ahead and name this metalogic design review Okay, that's a link. There we go. And then let's go ahead and paste that link we generated here. Just go ahead and press save. And now we have our trigger link made. So we're going to do two things. We're going to create an email template as well as a text template. And then I'll show you how to put all this together in the automation in just a second here. So we'll first go ahead and create our email template by staying in marketing, emails, templates, and then we'll add a new email here for blank design, design editor. So let's go ahead and name this email review templates one. And depending on how you feel about this, um, you can create multiple emails for each interaction that you do have. If you just think that maybe the first time they don't see the email and then you can use the same email over and over again until they kind of finally get the hint um, that's up to you. I recommend creating different emails, but that is up to your discretion how much work you want to put into this um, automation here. So let's go ahead and create our email. So what we like to do is kind of add an image up here. Image, here's our header, padding, nope. Well, then we'll start from scratch here. So we'll go thank you and again you want this to be personalized so you'll grab the custom values from the second to last little icon here contact first name thank you first name for using our services sheesh can you please do us a favor and write us a review so again this is just going to be an example you can put whatever you want before and after the button here but the button is the most important part um, of this whole email here so we're going to add the button here and in under link url you're going to kind of click this little tag here scroll all the way down to the last where it says trigger links and then you're going to choose the trigger link you just created for your review so we have metalogic design review link and then we can change the text here to leave us a review. And then obviously again, add more text, don't have more text, whatever you want to do is up to you. I recommend just kind of making it nice and pretty um, as you would want to. So we have everything set. We have our trigger link here, our kind of personalized message here. Let's go ahead and save this template. So there we go, let's go ahead and go back here. And now we're going to create our text template or SMS template. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we have created our email template, let's go ahead and create our text and SMS template. 
So we're going to stay in marketing here and just go one tap over into template snippets. Click the green add template snippet button and then click add text template in the drop down. So we'll name this Metalogic Design Review SMS. And then we can name this however we want. We can go ahead and just do hey, custom value again. You want this all to be personalized, first name. Thank you so much for using our services. Can you please do us a huge favor and leave us a review? And then after that, what you would do is just add our trigger link. So there is our review trigger link. Attach a file I do highly recommend because um, these people might not know who the number is coming from. So we'll go ahead and do SMS logo here. So that way it says Metalogic and then it'll have your uh, text. Let's go ahead and save that. And now we have created our email template and SMS template. So now let's get to the fun part and create our automations. Okay, so now we are in the fun part of the video. We've created our email templates, our text templates. We created the trigger link to go into each of those. And now it's time to put it all together here. So let's first start off by naming our workflow. Let's just go ahead and do review request uh, campaign. And then we will add our triggers. So there are essentially, I would say, four really good ways into adding people into this workflow here. So the first is going to be manually. So obviously it's going through your contacts and go high level, adding them one by one into this um, workflow here. And the second is going to be contact tags and you can do this in a variety of ways. You can create a separate workflow and have add contact tag, send review request there and then they're brought into the workflow here. Um, you can do so many different things with that. My, what I recommend doing is creating a separate file like a Excel or CSV of the contacts that you want to send a review request to, uploading them into Go High Level. And then when you do that, you have the opportunity to add a contact tag to each individual in that uh, file you're uploading. So that's another good way. The other way is going to be if you are using Go High Level to keep track of your customer's journey in like the pipeline and the pipeline stages. Um, creating a separate pipeline stage or having the trigger be um, in pipeline one. And then, so I would have a stage that saying send review request to, I would drag my client to send review request and make that a trigger. Um, and then the other one's going to be if you show up for an appointment or if your client shows up for an appointment, waiting a certain amount of time and then adding them into this um, workflow here. So. The appointments one, I'll make a video on that later. It's essentially going through how all calendars work, how appointments work and go high level. Um, but yeah, there's a multitude of ways to adding uh, a client into this workflow. But those are my four favorites. So let's go ahead and go through a few of those here. So add the workflow trigger. Let's do contact tag. Contact tag is going to be review request. R E. Q U E S T. There we go. Add the filter. Contact or tag added is going to be review request. Save the trigger. The other one is going to be the pipeline stage. So let's type in stage here. Pipeline stage changed. We're going to do in pipeline. Let's do the customer journey pipeline. This is a little example I made for you guys here. Um, We'll do pipeline stage is going to be send review request. Again, you can also have it as like opportunity one and then have them triggered there. And then obviously the two were manual and the, <coughs> the um, calendar links. So from here, let's go ahead and create our first action. So we'll do send email. It's actually going to be easier if you go ahead and go into settings here and then, you know, talk a lot of information, but for now, I'll just go ahead and do it manually. So Metalogic design from email, no reply at Metalogic. 
design.com subjects please leave us a review and then we'll select our template that we created leave us a review and save action you can either start with an email or sms or switch it up it really doesn't matter um, it's personal preference at this point next i'm going to add a wait action so it's going to be time delay uh, i recommend like 60 minutes or an hour you can say it as well so you can go 60 minutes or an hour so we wait one hour and then we'll send our SMS. So we'll go ahead and search action, send SMS. Same thing, select your template here. A created, save action. And then now is where we get fun. So we're going to add another wait action. Wait for, it's going to be, let's see, trigger link clicked. Select your trigger link here, review link. And then we're going to go to time out. So we're going to essentially go to the next step after how long. We recommend about three to five days. So we'll do three days. And then next we're going to create our if else action, the most important part of this automation. So now that we have the wait action here, let's go ahead and add our if else action. So what it's going to do is essentially if someone clicks on the link, and when someone clicks on the link, hopefully that means two things. It means one, they've seen the email, and two, they're going to leave a review, right? So that's going to be, let's see here, it's going to be events, trigger link clicked, is, and do your trigger link. So it's going to be trigger link clicked. And that is our if else action. So now we have two branches here. So Branch one is yes, they've clicked the trigger link. So what we do here, or what I do is I go to remove contact tag. Tag is going to be review request, right? So I know that this person has hopefully submitted a request. And if not, we can go ahead and add them again into the um, automation we're building here. Again, this isn't a surefire way of, you know, having it so that someone, if someone does create a review or not, take them out, add them in. It's still a little bit of manual work you have to put in and kind of pay attention to, but this is automated as it's gonna get in Go High Level. So we're going to remove the tag, review request, save the action, and we're going to add the tag, another review, so we review completed. So again, if you kind of want to hold off on the whole review completed thing, um, you can, you just have to remove tag and add them into, uh, or to, and take them out the workflow. And then if they don't click on the trigger link after three days, what you would essentially do is you would just go ahead and copy the action and just build this exact same section here. However many times over, I mean, I recommend Let's see, it's every three days. I recommend doing this probably five times. And then if they don't click it, then probably out of luck if you want to keep adding them over and over again into the workflow. Um, so you're not going to lose anything. You can. But um, yeah, essentially that's what I would do. Um, just keep building this out over and over and over again. And then so for my settings here, essentially I would not allow re-entry. I would do stop on response. So when someone says, hey, yes, like I'll do it for you or leave me alone, um, they're taking out the workflow. And then down here, you can edit your sender details. So from name, I'll do Metalogic Design. And from email is going to be no reply at Metalogic Design. Um, if you don't know what this is, essentially, if when you, when you go into your builder here and you go into email, if you just didn't have anything here, Right, it would populate from the settings that we just made. So it's gonna make it easier for you when you create this three, four times over, um, or just in general, honestly, with any other workflow. And then besides that, what you would do is you click publish, save, if you wanna kind of keep track of people in these workflows, same as any other workflow, you can kind of see the execution logs and your Roman history as to who has been in these workflows and how many times. Let's go back, let's go back into our main menu here. And then once your reviews are, um, people have left reviews, you'd go into reputation, reviews here, 
and then you go ahead and click reply. Um, again, this is really important. You, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. You do have to integrate your Google My Business, <laughs> excuse me, Google My Business with um, Go Ahead Level. So what you would do is you go into integrations here in settings and then integrate it through here. Um, without this, none of this would actually work. But besides that, guys, um, thank you so much for watching the video. Again, my name is Nick from Metalogic Design. If you do need help in terms of reputation management or just any other kind of go high level um, issue, please leave a comment in the comment section below, or you can email me, uh, nick at metalogicdesign.com. I prefer the reviews though. I do think I do get to it in a timely manner, but if you really do need help and want to reach out to me personally, go ahead and email me. Um, besides that guys, please like and subscribe to the video, or like and subscribe to the channel, and then I'll see you next time.